All right, so now we're going to get into motion diagrams. We've already talked about how to graph velocity and how to graph acceleration. But now we want to kind of conceptualize things, so not necessarily use mathematical terms, but, but be able to identify if something's accelerating or having a negative acceleration uh, just by looking at, at, a, at a diagram, or a, at a picture rather, to see what's going on with it. So the first one I want to draw is a constant speed. All right. Remember that constant speed does not have an acceleration to it. All right. And the it has three key components to it. All right. Every motion diagram will always have uh, a spot for acceleration, which A stands for your acceleration, and V stands for the velocity. All right. And then you need uh, your box or your object. I draw boxes uh, for my objects, and, and that's what I use. But uh, you can use dots if you'd prefer, and that's just fine as well. Now we have a constant speed. So our velocity, then, is going to stay the same uh, because remember that velocity is both um, speed and direction. And for our purposes, every time that we say speed or velocity, it tends to be the average speed or velocity. So, so it's not the instantaneous unless it's specifically said, but it, it certainly could be. But for our purposes, we'll stay at a constant speed, so our velocity uh, will stay constant as well. And the way that we do that is that we draw, we draw an arrow. All right, these arrows represent our motion. So notice that the arrow points to the right, so that also gives us a direction. My object will be moving to the right, all right at a constant uh, velocity or a constant speed. And that's our arrows besides showing the direction that it's going, it also shows us the magnitude. All right. So magnitude, remember we, we use this word uh, quite a bit in class, and magnitude is the size of amount of or power of all right so so we if you imagine an earthquake you know it has a magnitude of 4.5 on the richter scale all right so that's the size of the earthquake or the power of the earthquake all right and that's what we mean by mag by magnitude and our velocity uh, also has to do with magnitude or the size of our of our velocity so our arrows will stay the same they're going to stay the same length and they're going to stay the same distance apart all right so imagine those three arrows to be the same length and the same distance apart from one another and the same length all right now since you don't have an acceleration with this, you have just your you have your spot for acceleration, and that will stay blank. Okay, so anytime you have something with a constant speed or zero acceleration, this is the diagram that you want to be thinking of. All right, next I will do a speeding up, or another way to say that something is speeding up is that it has a positive acceleration. Positive. All right, again, we're setting it up just like normal, just like any other motion diagram. We have our, a spot for our acceleration. We have a spot for our velocity. And then we have our object. All right, so we have that, and we have at least our initial velocity. So since we have since we're having a positive positive acceleration, then our velocity will will begin to increase. So we have our initial, and as you as you have uh, something that's speeding up, your magnitude of your arrow is increasing in size. Okay, and for dramatic sake, I will make this wild. And you have 
you have small arrow, distance apart, larger arrow, then you have a further dis distance apart with even a, f a much larger arrow. All right, so the magnitude of the velocity is increasing. The size of the velocity is increasing. All right, and since you are accelerating, all right, or you are speeding up, you have a positive acceleration, then your acceleration goes in the same direction. All right, so let me write this out. Velocity, I'm just going to use words uh, for the pictures here. Velocity arrows get larger and more spread out. All right, so there you go with that. And then you also have a, an arrow in the acceleration. And so acceleration, and you can say that this is, acceleration is really a scalar, but we have direction. So acceleration is in the same direction. So if I could spell right. Acceleration arrow in the same direction as velocity. Same direction as velocity. Let me push a button here and zoom in on this so you can actually see it. All right, so there we go. So we have our speeding up positive acceleration motion diagram here. And our velocity arrows get larger and more spread out, as you can see. And then our acceleration arrow is in the same direction as our velocity. All right, so there we are speeding up. And we're going to slow down now. We're going to have a, an object that is slowing down. Or another way to say something that's slowing down is that it has a negative acceleration. All right, negative acceleration. Uh, we'll just do that just to, you know, have the two separate thoughts, but while both being present. And you set up your diagram once again. You have your acceleration, you have your velocity, and you have your object, which is going to be in motion. All right, so all we're going to do is we will think about our, our positive acceleration and then just do the opposite of that because we're slowing down, so we have a negative acceleration. So we have the velocity that we started out with. And as we continue, our arrows get shorter and closer together for velocity, all right? So velocity arrows or velocity vectors, um, however you want to think about that, get, they both get shorter and closer together. Okay? Now, we said that we have a negative acceleration. And so negative acceleration to this would, um, you could think that a negative acceleration is in the opposite direction of, of motion. And so, as you might be, be getting at right now, acceleration is to the left as the velocity is moving towards the right, all right? because as we're slowing down, our acceleration is going in the opposite direction. So let me write that down. Acceleration, arrow, is in the opposite direction. Okay, and there you go, so you have you have a, a slowing down motion diagram. You have moving back up just a little bit. You have a motion diagram that's speeding up or it has a positive acceleration. 
And then you also have your constant speed, which you have no acceleration. And velocity arrows. are the same size and distance apart. Alright, so there you have it, motion diagrams.